Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Elysium Suicidal, because it's the only map we play on right now, because we still need that stupid Lore Master thing. I think I'm going to look it up soon. Maybe, maybe, uh, tomorrow I'll look it up if we don't have it by then. Um, no, no, tomorrow we'll do two endless runs if we don't have it by then. Uh, and then, uh, we will look it up after that. I just, I want to get it without, I want to, I want to find it myself, you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, so we talked in the last episode... Actually, no, hold up, hold up. Uh, I'm frustrated right now, actually. I'm really, really frustrated. So, I've been... Um... Trying... To kill... The, uh, the Moon Lord in Terraria. For a while now. I've, I've never done that before. I've never actually killed him. Ever. Uh, I just, I haven't been able to manage... To make it happen, uh, and uh, I've I've given it like seven raid attempts today. I gave it like an attempt back in expert mode, and I wasn't able to make it work. Uh, and I've given it a couple of attempts like the other day as well. So I've 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 you know thrown a few lives at the Moon Lord, trying, trying to get a kill in. And uh, I just I can't quite manage to get it to work, and I'm I'm really really frustrated right now because I'm just throwing stuff at it, and I'm not seeing improvements. You know what I mean? Like when I uh, when I try to learn how to do something, I like seeing myself improve as I go. I like seeing myself grow and get better at it, and have some kind of tangible, um, you know, reward for for the effort that I put in. Unfortunately, that's not what I'm getting here. I just, uh, the Moon Lord has these, these, like, homing projectiles that they fire. The, the stupid eyes. And I just, I can't seem to dodge them. So I just get hit by them constantly. And, uh, I'm just dying. Like, I can avoid the lasers. I can avoid the non-homing projectiles. I can avoid contact damage. I can avoid, uh, you know, the orbs that fly at you and all that. But those dang homing projectiles just absolutely wreck me you know and they do so much damage you take like you know 200 damage or something like that 150 or 200 damage or something um because i don't have very much defense um because i'm a summoner ranger and uh it's just like so 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 incredibly unforgiving and i can't seem to to manage to avoid them i know it's possible you know so i just i have to get better at it and do it, you know, Pe people have done no-hit Moon Lord runs, it's possible to do, right, like, I just, I have to, you know, I, I, I can at least take a hit, right, as long as I don't die, I can take a couple of hits, even, you got potions and regeneration and all of that, so you, you, you got some kind of, um, you know, some degree of, uh, ability to, to exist, but, um, let's grab these, I think the other one's over there, um, so I know I can just get good and do it, you know? I just, I, I haven't been able to do it, and I haven't been seeing any improvement, I haven't been seeing any, um, you know, I, I've just, oh, is it on the other side? Is it over there? I thought it was over here, but I guess, I guess it's over here. Oh, no, we already got the, yeah, no, no, no. Okay, for some reason I thought we had this one already, and we were looking for the one that's over there. Because I know that they're opposite corners, I just, for some reason I thought we got the other one. Alright, I, I thought we got this one. Anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, I, was, I was just mixed up. Um, so, I, I don't know what I'm saying. I, just, I, 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 I thought we were looking... I was just mixed up, okay? Whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, okay? Um, I was lost. But uh, I've, I've been throwing lives at it. I haven't been improving. I got to phase two once. I lasted about half a second before I died. Have not gotten back there since. I'm not even, like, really getting close to that. You know? From from a purely numerical standpoint, I'm getting close. But that's because, like, you go with, you know, the the spooky armor or whatever. And uh, terror prismas and the phantasm with holy arrows. And you're, like, accurate with your shots and all that. Like, you're doing a, an enormous amount of DPS, right? Like, your, your damage is... You know, out of this world, right? Like you got you got damage for days, but um, no survivability, which is is definitely a problem that I'm that I'm noticing. Uh, 
Just because I, I can't I can't seem to avoid those stupid projectiles. I tried using like an inferno potion to ignite everything around me, but it wasn't destroying them either, and I can't seem to avoid them. It's just it's frustrating, man. It's frustrating. So from a purely numerical standpoint, I'm getting close, but that's like just because even when the Moon Lord starts, you're only you know 20, 30 seconds away from killing all the eyes anyway, because the the DPS is in, incredibly high. So it's 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 really not a problem there. Um, I might go for a better summon. I think the Xeno staff is higher da uh, DPS or something. I can't I can't remember what the best like single target DPS is for uh, summoner, but I've been using the Terra Prisma, which is is my favorite summon weapon. It's not the best summon weapon. I don't I don't think there are many situations where it's useful, if any, because um, pretty much whenever you get that, you're able to get the Stardust Dragon, which is better at. Uh, a lot of stuff and you're able to get like the Xeno staff and the Raven staff and all these other things that I think just kinda outperform it. Um but it is it is a very nice weapon to have and it's kind of a it's kind of a flex, right? You get the Terra Prisma and you're like, yeah I did that. You know? I did uh, I did day I did daytime Empress. You get to you get to have that flex. Um But regardless, you know I uh I've been I've been having a lot of trouble Killing this dang Moon Lord here. Can't seem to, to get it down and, and have it stay down. We didn't put the flowers in the pots. It's okay. Can't seem to get it to stay down. No matter what I do, it just it doesn't stay down. It doesn't even go down in the first place. It just comes up and then kills me and then leaves. And then, uh, you know. I, just, I, can't, I can't seem to do it. I feel like if I get to phase two... I'll have a pretty good time of, like, get to phase two when I'm not, like, in immediate risk of, uh, of death. I, I feel like I'll be able to handle it. Um, because phase two is actually, watching videos of it, it doesn't really seem, like, much harder, honestly. It, it seems like kind of like a DPS race, and, and like I said, I have the DPS to, to kill stuff really, really quickly, so... I feel like as long as I can get to phase two, and I have, you know, a, a decent pool of health a lot to kind of fall back on, and my positioning isn't, you know, immediate death, I feel like I'll be able to get the kill. Maybe even first try, as soon as that kind of situation happens. It's just a matter of getting good at phase one, so that I can put myself in that situation for phase two. Um, especially with some degree of regularity, because I'll have to farm the Moon Lord to get, like, you know, all the better weapons and stuff. I'll want the the zenith and, and all of that of course right um this is my goal with uh terraria isn't necessarily just to kill the moon lord I'm, I'm trying to kill the moon lord so that i can get better tools and armor um more than anything else really i don't i don't want some that's i'm not winning terraria when i do that in my opinion i'm, I'm just you know progressing that's that's a part of the progression um anyway uh, I'll, I'll get I'll get it eventually, but I'm really really frustrated right now because I'm just I'm not seeing improvements. And every time you kill the Moon Lord, well not every time. Every but like you have to in order to kill the Moon Lord, you have to do the whole Solar Pillar event or not the Solar Pillar. You have to do the whole like um, pillar event, right? Um. <sighs> So you have to kill the, uh, the lunar cultist. You have to kill the uh, four different pillars. Then the moon lord spawns, and then uh, you know the the pillars will drop some fragments or whatever, and you're able to craft some summons out of that, which is is convenient because you get like two or three attempts per um, like pillar run. But it is it is really really frustrating because it's it's a huge time investment and like you know, item investment, like, to, to actually fight the Moon Lord in the first place, it's, and I'm not even good at the pillars, <laughs> you know, like, I can, I can handle all the pillars fairly okay, but, but there's a pretty good chance I'm going to die on the solar pillar at least once, and, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if a nebular vortex got me, uh, once as well, um, so it is, it's like, it's just a kind of, unfun experience all around practicing the moon lord 
it's gonna feel really really good once I do it and especially once I'm like good at it and I'm able to actually like consistently do it that's gonna feel really 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 good but I mean the logical thing to do here of course is to go uh, like set up a, a journey mode normal world and then you know, learn how to fight the moon lord on normal <laughs> instead of learning how to fight the moon lord on master mode but I've done every other boss on Master. I've learned how to fight. Uh, well, I didn't. You know, I learned how to fight the Queen Slime on Master, which was like I don't know. Did you really learn how to shoot a big old slime? Not really. Uh, it's like pretty much the same fight as King Slime, except she flies, which is not really a benefit to her. Um, I learned how to fight Empress of Light on Master, Daytime Empress as well. I did that. I did the Daytime Empress on Master. I know a lot of people go and make like a normal world. And do the Dame High Empress there. Nah, I did it on Master. I did it on Master. You know, I I, I did all this on Master. I want I want to you know I want to get the Moon Lord on Master. I, I I feel like I'd lose if I didn't, right? If my first kill was on Normal, when I like I, I feel like I'd be giving up, you know. I don't want to do that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. I'll get it eventually. I'm almost tempted to um like give myself the medallions to summon him but that, that that feels like a little bit of cheating there and on that note we talked in the last episode I was gonna be making a hotkey for uh, using my cell phone actually I got my cell phone back last night too which was nice I got the traveling merchant and I was able to I was able to go ahead and make my cell phone again which was beautiful I've got uh, most of the parts for a spare cell phone as well, so if I ever lose it again, then I'll be fine. Um, and uh, let's see, um, what am I talking about? And uh, okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I was, I was trying to to poke around in the memory and find what I needed to do to be able to, to have a hockey that would, you know, call the, uh, oh, there's another one over here, I think, right? No, no, that's that one. Uh, there's one over there, up there, yeah, okay. Um, if I wanted to, you know, I was poking around the memory, finding all the stuff. I got to the, um, so I got to the player, like, the player's object in memory, which, uh, you know, had all of the, the health and position, speed, direction, activity, you know, all this kind of stuff. All these variables were stored there. So I was able to see all of that. Um, find the address for the player position. Um, kind of track what's writing or accessing that when I teleport. Find the functions that are handling uh, all of that. And then kind of work from there. But... What I was kind of hoping for was I'd be able to just do like a little quick fix uh, last night and uh, kind of like find the position of the player's spawn point um, in memory and then just kind of, you know, find that, you know, bunch of pointers or whatever to, to kind of get from the, the base address to the uh, bunch of pointers and offsets and stuff to get from the base address to the um, thing, uh, and then, uh, I'd have the player spawn, I could easily get the position as well, that's, you know, I already found the object, I was able to fairly simply just get that whenever I wanted now, um, that's not, that's not, you know, I've, I've, I've located it, it's there, <laughs> I know, I know where it is, I can, I can go find it if I need it. Whenever I, I've got the script already set up to, to be able to, to get all that and stuff, um, and uh, the player spawn is also in there. I, I for some reason it, it like lapsed. I didn't even bother checking that, so I went like the long way to get it instead of just setting my position and finding the the variables that are changing. Anyway, um, what uh, kind of ended up happening was the player's spawn. When you use a mirror or something, uh, it will... We do have the books, so let's go put the books in. When you use a mirror or something, it takes... 
Um, it'll call, I believe, like find, like player dot find spawn or something. I, f I forget the the thing. Um, it'll, it'll call some method anyway to to find the character, the player spawn. Um, and then it will check the variables for the player's spawn. If it's negative one, it calls check spawn, and then that spawn calculates, and then uh, and then that method calculates the uh, like the height that you'll go to. You have the like x coordinate. That's always the same of of like world spawn. That's always that's always the same, but you need to calculate the height. So um, I don't think it stores that in a variable somewhere. I I don't think that uh, it stores the the heights of spawn anywhere in a variable. I, I I wasn't able to find it anyway. So you'd have to call that or like calculated it yourself through like you know poking through the memory again to find what blocks are kind of in the right positions and stuff and it's like a whole complicated beast right so um, what I'm gonna have to end up doing is call the uh, that method but that's not really a quick fix I was hoping I'd just be able to find the player spawn and then uh, we'd be able to um, the lore master knows the lore master knows Tomatoes. That's my but the lore master doesn't care <laughs> okay endless next time I, I think that's it so you just have to okay cool um I don't I didn't, I don't know how I missed that the last time uh, okay cool 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 uh, so anyway um, I wanted I wanted a quick fix so that I could just have a hockey that would like Check my player spawn, get it, calculate you know the position, and then move the player there. Just like like by just writing to the player position memory, which was uh, pretty. I mean, it works if I have my. It works. I have I have a script for it that works if I have my spawn set at a bed. If I don't, then uh, <laughs> the x and y coordinates of my um, bed quote-unquote are set to negative one or like 4.2 billion and uh, the the script will just end up setting me to like 64 billion on the on the X and 64 billion on the Y which is not where I need to be <laughs> at all um, so I, I could just have it set me if it's negative one I could just check a uh, Set me to the uh, the x coordinates of spawn, and uh, like find what the y coordinate would be, and just have it there. If it's, but like I'm just like it's not really, yeah, it's not really a like quick fix that I was looking for there, you know. So I'll have to actually write a write a thing, maybe a, a some kind of like thing that hooks into the game engine or something. Um. To be able to, to call the internal methods and, and whatnot, because I don't think you can. Well, you can call uh, internal methods through AutoHotKey uh, by writing to memory. You can write like arbitrary code to memory that gets run, um, and then have that code add in like a hotkey or something, and, and like kind of. You, you, you can kind of like make it work that way. It's a lot easier to just add uh, something that hooks into the actual engine and then is able to just call the, the internal stuff a little bit easier that way. Um, and that's not really something that I want to do so much, but um, I don't know. Well, I, I might do it. It's a lot of assembly and like just a lot of effort. <laughs> but it would be nice to have a hotkey. Just a little hockey to, um, I might, I might, like, before I do that is the thing, I want to make sure that, because I think that Terraria 1.4 even, like, supports mods, right? I think. Like, I don't think that mod, like, the 1.4 hello, buddy? Um, 
I don't think that the 1.4 like T mod loader is there, but I, I think that Terraria on its own is fairly mod friendly. So rather than you know building my own mod loader for uh, for a game that like has its own one built, like it just it doesn't make sense. So I don't know. I'll, I'll have to kind of poke around a little bit and, and see if I can find something. I wanted something a little bit simpler, because um, yeah. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to get anything super simple for it, so it's okay though, right? Worst case scenario, uh, I just have to like I don't know. Worst worst case scenario, I just have to raid a bunch of assembly, <laughs> which is not super fun, but not the end of the world, really. I'm drinking. I prioritize drinking over life. Water, of course. Do it. You won't. You're gonna do a little explosion around you. Yeah. Yeah. I I know your your patterns. Okay. You can't you can't beat me anymore. Okay. The matriarch is uh is it's a solved fight now. Right. It's a solved fight. Many, many games are skill-based. The Matriarch fight is not skill-based. It is a puzzle. There is a solution. And that's that's it. At least on Suicidal. And that's that's the Suicidal solution. So anyway, I guess we'll be doing some Endless. I don't really want to do Endless next time, honestly. I like Endless. I don't really want to do it, though. I don't really want to do it. So... We, uh, we may... We may not. We probably won't. I'm gonna do a four round. We'll do some endless tomorrow. I just I don't really want to do endless tonight. It's like 7:30. I wanna. I didn't want to make that kind of a commitment just yet, right? Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe for more of the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.